Hello and welcome. I hope you're all well. This is Rashid Khan and you're watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss some exam questions from the topic called static electricity. Let us have a look at the first question. The first question says, this question is about static electricity. A student has a rubber balloon tied to a long piece of cotton thread. The student gives the balloon an overall electrostatic charge. Now, the moment I see this balloon, I need to recall this is insulator. And describe one way that student could give the balloon an overall electrostatic charge. So you have to remember if it is an insulator, insulators are charged by method called friction. So you have to say rub the balloon against another insulator. So it could be against, we can say cloth, okay. Both are fine. You will get one mark for stating that you have to rub it against something, and the second mark will be for identifying that it is another insulator. Next question the student gives the balloon an overall negative charge. So, the moment I see negative charge, I'm going to recall here. This means this is due to gain of electrons. So, my balloon has gained an electron. Which of these sentences explains why the overall charge on balloon is negative? Negative charge has been removed. That's wrong because if negative charge would have been removed, it would have become positively charged. Part two, ne part B, negative charge has been added to the balloon and that's the correct answer. Next part, the student charges another balloon on a long thread. Explain how student can show that two balloons have the same type of charge. So, the quote same type of charge means they will repel but they will only repel if you bring them close to each other so we can say number one hang the balloons from the wall and i'm going to say next to each other and i'm saying that they should not touch Second, I can say if balloons repel, they will have same charge. Next question. A student gives a plastic strip an overall electric charge. Again, it's plastic strip. So I'm going to recall it is insulator. Describe one way that student can give the plastic strip an overall electric charge. It's only one mark, so I'll say this time you have to just say rub against another insulator next part figure one shows a gold leaf electroscope that can be used to investigate static electricity the electroscope has no overall charge this means it is neutral now the gold leaf has a very small mass and can bend very easily the student brings a negatively charged plastic strip near to the cap of the electroscope. So if I go back here and have a look, this is metal cap. This is conductor. So we know if you bring a negatively charged strip next to this metal cap because it's conductor, what will happen? Induction will take place. All electrons will be repelled, so the bottom will gain negative charge and the top will become positively charged. So the gold leaf bends away from this metal rod so here's the metal rod the gold leaf will bend away this means it moves away it says which diagram shows the way the electric charge is now distributed so we all we have to do is just compare with what i have done at the top so i've got negative strip this is positive and that so the answer will be c because this is light charge that's why the strip will repel away from the central metal rod Next question says, figure three shows two charged metal plates, negative and positive. The top plate has a negative charge. The bottom plate has a positive charge. On figure three, 
draw the electric field lines between the two plates and show the direction of this electric field. So we have to do two things, electric field lines and the direction. Remember, I told you earlier, we make use of positive test charge. So if I was to put a positive test charge, this positive test charge will be repelled from here and will be attracted towards the top plate. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the lines. These must be straight lines because we now have two parallel plates. We know between these two plates, uniform electric field will exist. So the distance between them two has to remain the same. See, I've drawn more than two lines because I can then show that I've kept my distance the same. Second way, we have to add the direction. So I can say the direction will be upwards because this is the direction of the force that will apply on the positive test charge. And that will get you two marks. Next question says two small objects P and Q are each given an electric charge. Figure three represents the electric fields around the objects P and Q. So they are circular objects. So we can consider them as if they are point charges. So in this case, again, I will have to put a positive charge here. The positive charge is being attracted towards it. So this means this is negative. In this case, if I put a positive test charge here, the direction is showing me that it will be repelled. This means this will be positive. So I have identified one thing that this is negatively charged object. This one is positively charged object. Number two, I can see there are less lines around it, but here there are a lot of lines around it. So this means this is more stronger force here. Here the force will be weaker. It says use information from figure three to give two differences between the charge on P and the charge on Q. So I can say P is negative, whereas Q is positive. Second one, I can say the strength of charge for Q is bigger than the strength of charge on P because this one has stronger field around it. So I can say the charge on Q is greater than charge on P. Next part, object P and Q are held near to each other so, so that their electric fields interact with each other. State the effect that electric field of object Q has on P. Of Q on P. So I can see here, instead of having a positive charge here, if I was to put P in this field, then that will be a negative charge, right? This is my P. If I put P in Q's field, then P will get attracted because we know opposite charges always attract. So I'm going to say P will get attracted towards Q. Next question. Figure 9 shows an electrostatic method for spray painting a car door. The car door has a negative charge. The droplets of the paint receive a positive charge as they leave the spray gun. So the door is negative and these droplets are all positive. It says explain how charging the door helps the paint to form an even coating on both sides of the door. You should use ideas of forces and fields in your answers. So we can say door is positive, paint is negative, so we can say opposite charges attract. One. So our first response considers the force. Now we need to consider fields. Our door has a negative charge on it. So if I draw the field around this door, it will be lines which will be pointing towards the door. These positively charged paint droplets will follow the field lines. So I can say as electric field lines touch the entire door hence the paint will coat entire door. Next question, an insecticide sprayer 
charges droplets of insecticide. Figure 2 shows the spray being used to spray a leaf. Now remember, a leaf is conductor. It's part of the plant or tree. The leaf is connected to the ground earth. Explain how charging the droplets help to make sure the leaf gets covered with insecticide. You may add to figure 2 including the part sign positive or negative of any charges to help your answer. So what will happen, I can say these droplets, they will become negatively charged. If they become negatively charged, what will they do? Once they reach this leaf, they repel all electrons and the electrons will go towards the earth. Therefore, this leaf will become positively charged. And then we know that negative and positive will always attract. So I can say droplets are given positive charge. Okay. In our case, it's not positive, it is negative. Because that's what I have given at the top. And I can say droplets will induce charge on the leaf. The leaf will become positively charged. Once this happens, then I can say opposite charges attract. Therefore, droplets will be attracted towards the leaf. Number three, I can say droplets will cover entire leaf due to two reasons number one because there is field around entire leaf and number two I'm gonna say because the droplets will spread out because light charges repel that will get us all three marks so we have seen two questions on the uses of static electricity that just gives you an idea there might be some questions in your exam but the context might be different let's have a look at the next question the next question says figure 2a shows another gold leaf electroscope that has been given an overall negative charge a student connects the metal cap of the charged electroscope to earth with a piece of wire as shown in figure 2b. Explain why the gold leaf has moved. Now in this case you need to remember this is earth. Earth can accept as well as provide electrons to discharge objects. Now in this case, they said it was given overall negative charge. So this means it has gained electrons. So when you earth it, I can then say the electrons will travel to earth. Number two, I can then say the gold leaf electroscope gets discharged next question this question is about static electricity figure 9 shows a plastic block and a metal disc with an insulating handle so we've got plastic block and metal disc means this is our conductor so recall induction can take place in conductor 
The student uses the insulating handle to hold the metal disc above the plastic block. Which of these diagrams shows how the charge is distributed on the metal disc? So if I bring a metal disc on top of this plastic block, which is charged on, you have to remember always attraction will take place due to induction. So in this case, it will repel electrons or electrons will move away. This side becomes positive. There will be attractive force between them. So the answer is B. Next question. The student keeps holding the metal disc above the charged plastic block and taps the metal disc with a finger. This earths the metal disc for a short time. Earths the metal disc. What does this mean? This means it will, it can supply and accept electrons. So when you touch it, what will happen? These electrons will travel to earth. And if that's the case, it will now become positively charged. It says, explain why the disc now has an overall positive charge. So we've learned about it. Overall positive charge means, you can say it has lost electrons. How do we know that? Because I showed you the diagram here. We can say electrons moved towards the ground that will give you two marks next question says figure 10 shows the charges on part of the metal disc and the plastic block on figure 10 draw lines to show the shape and direction of electric field between the metal disc and the plastic block remember again you've got two parallel plates so the first thing i'm going to do is i'll draw the lines and they have to be at equal distance three lines are more than enough the distance between them is d and d now i need to identify the direction of this field so if i bring a positive test charge here it will be attracted towards the negative and will be repelled from the top plate so the field will have direction pointing downwards this was the last question on this booklet uh, i hope you'll find this video useful I wish you all very good luck with your exam preparation. Thank you.